has everyone been super cagey? Yes. Is that what you told me to do? <laughs> no, we've just been talking about how it's a little hard to talk about the beginning of the season. But we promised we will have so much to talk about after you see the premiere episode. <laughs> Um, when you guys were, when you guys sort of are setting up the next season, do you take into account, like, do you go online and read fan reactions and see what sort of they're hoping for or try to you know, surprise them? We, tr- we definitely try to surprise the viewers. I mean, you hope that it's twisty and that's not exactly what they were expecting, but we are so far down the line by the time something airs, we couldn't um, probably shift courses just based on the fact that, you know, oh, unexpectedly they don't like, you know, <laughs> X twist or X character. And also, by the way, at this point in the life of the series, there's always going to be a divided opinion. That's part of the fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Do you have a, an end game where you'd like to end up by the end of, the end of season seven? Like, is that mapped out yet? Yeah. Um, as usual, it will slightly depend on whether or not we're picked up for season eight, um, which is a possibility that we hope for. We always hope for that. Um, but yeah, we, um, you know, we're in the morning. We're always like, the glass is half empty. This is it. <laughs> you know, how are we gonna, are we gonna drive them off into the sunset? Are we gonna drive them off the cliff? What are we gonna do today? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, actually, Eric and I have talked about how to end the series. I mean, he's, he got he stepped into my office and talked about that, I think, in season one or season two. So, yeah. And he's kept the, the same idea for six seasons? Um, some of what we talked about ended up in the end of season five. And the characters have kind of gone on since then and continue to live and grow. So we have some other ideas that would do you get concerned that because they've died and come back so many times that it takes a little sort of like gravity of the situation out of it? We joke about that a lot. Ben especially jokes about that a lot. That, well, I guess dying is not as big a deal on our show as some other shows considering you can kind of come back. But we're the only show where one brother can turn to the other brother and go, hey man, you can talk to me. I've been to hell. I know exactly what it's like. I was tortured on the rack in hell. I, hey, I torture people. <laughs> So, uh, you know, you lose a little something, but you gain a lot. Have you so, guys, have you guys had any involvement with the anime or? The only involvement I had was actually seeing it, um, which is uh, what blew my mind. Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is it the most surreal thing you've ever seen? <laughs> it's amazing. It, they, it looks exactly like them in cartoon form. Yeah. Uh, and we, we've talked several times about doing an animated episode, of course, because Ben is on our staff. But the, the lead time to do something like that is so many months that we were like, oh, that's a lot of work. <laughs> and we would have to break that episode so early in the season. And then we saw that and we're like, okay, well, that, that's done for us. So, but um, I wasn't involved in it at all, and I think Eric signed off on it. But that's a good question for Jared and Jensen, because I think they were involved. So the season ended on a really big cliffhanger. Yeah. Uh, what's what's going to happen with this new god? Um. <laughs> this was so... I have to tell you guys, this was about the most fun we've had in the writer's room. Was just throwing that out to the group. Like, so, okay, so you're god, what do you do? Because <laughs> uh, there is a certain amount of time where Cass is just walking around. I mean, he has a checklist. There's the people in heaven who stood against him, and there's... He says... I have plans for Crowley, so you'll see what that means. Um, and then there's his feelings towards the Winchester and the Winchesters and what he tends to do to them. But we also had this just wide open field of here's this character we know pretty well, or we knew pretty well before he became really transformed by this level of power that he suggested. And what does it mean for him to declare himself God, put on the mantle, and say, the last one didn't do so good, I'm going to do it. So that that was fun. It was a little controversial at moments, but yeah. it was um, it was a rare opportunity. Yeah. 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 Um, she was answering. You did sort of discuss the idea of having like, there was another god we uh-huh. assumed before Castiel was god. How much is that brought into this? That there's essentially another entity, super powerful entity. Well, Cass went. Cass went looking for his father, and his father never showed up. And he was, he was furious about that. 
And so that's not, that wasn't front of mind for him when he went looking for purgatory. Really, he's, in a, in a certain way, he feels like everything that has come after for him has come after because he had to do everything. He's kind of like that latchkey kid who had to take care of the kids and take care of the kids and take care of the kids because dad never came. So there is this sort of like underneath this, this resentment, you know. But if you're not God, you're not God. You can't. There's a reason God's God. We discover <laughs> over the course of this storyline. <laughs> but uh, Misha is fantastic, and um, a lot of a lot of what we ended up doing was really inspired by the performance that he gave in episode 22. We handed this to him. We sort of stepped on with it, and then the dailies that came out were so freaking creepy that um, we just were inspired to expand upon that and in the direction he was sort of leading us, really. So also at the end of the, in the season, uh, Sam became fully aware of his time in hell. How much is that going to impact the um, seventh season for him? That's a pretty major deal, actually. Um, we see his ability to get his crap together and go to that lab to help as kind of like an, an adrenaline thing, a bit like, you know, it's like the mom lifting the car off the baby. Right. But uh, we were pretty specific about the things that can happen when your wall comes down. Uh, Cass mentions it in an episode, Death mentions it, that you don't want to break the wall or even scratch it. So he starts to feel the repercussions of that pretty much immediately, and we follow through with that over several episodes. It becomes, it's it's not something that, it's something that Sam is going to have to deal with, I think, um, on a fairly long-term basis. I mean, it, we didn't present it as something that you can kind of like wave a wand over and fix. It's, he's been through more than pretty much any other human being in certain ways. I mean, Dean went down too, but... Yeah. Um, and there are, so there's, there's the Winchesters and there's everyone else, pretty much, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Do you think that this is going to strain the British relationship, or is it going to go full circle? Where they were before, because they're like, hey, I've been to hell, you've been to hell. It's funny that this is a place they um, kind of understand each other a certain amount. In, in certain ways, it's a strain, um, but Dean is incredibly, as usual, Dean is worried about Sam. Sam is worried about Dean. Um, these are dynamics that are as old as Supernatural and probably will never go away, but, um, you know, I don't think, um, you know, it's not our plan to have this be a wedge that's driven between the brothers on a movie like level or anything. Are we going to see any of our... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Do you want to finish the question? I was going to say, are we going to see any of our past demons or bad guys or good, good guys back in this season? Um, yeah, well, Crowley will be returning early in the season. Um, Alona Tall is set to return as Joe in an early episode. Um, we will, of course, see Jim Beaver. Um, we have other people, and I just need to know who they are. <laughs> um, we're, you know, we're actually only, oh, Colin Ford will return as Young Sam. Um, Jensen directed the episode. It's pretty Sam heavy. I mean, we designed it that way so that it, Jensen is in it more heavily than he was in the episode he directed last season, but um, we tried to create an episode that would be more Sam heavy and more young Sam heavy so that Jensen could stay behind the camera as much as possible. And it tells a, a, a story about how Sam kind of came to be who he is in a certain way. So. Uh, maybe even the parents, uh, Don um, and Mary, the, are we going to see them again? There's always a chance to see them again. We don't have a story for them yet, but we could always. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.